Hi guys, <clears throat> um, it's been a while since I've done my last update, I just haven't had time back to work now, um, so the videos were coming thick and fast through lockdown, but obviously back back to work, routine, um, just haven't really had time to do any updates, as you can see it's quite late at night, so I thought I'd do you know, 5-10 minute video, whatever, it's quarter past 9, so I'll start with the young birds, the young birds, um, we haven't started training yet, we don't usually start training the young birds until about three, four weeks before the first race. We've got seven, I think, seven weeks until the first race. Um, no, six weeks. So in another three weeks, we'll start training these guys. Um, they're up kitting around nicely, flying for about 45 minutes. Um, they just need to start ranging a bit now. Um, we have had some problems with the hawks. We've lost seven young ones. We're down to 33 young ones. Um... If we see hawks around the garden or on the loft flying around, um, we have sent rockets up. Um, peregrine falcons mainly. Um, we send rockets up, and that usually does deter them and scare them off. They don't like the loud bang that the rockets um, make, um, and it's not legal to send a rocket up in the sky any time of the year. So, what we do is we bolt by them um, at bonfire night, Guy Fawkes night, whatever you want to call it. Um, and use them through the year. It's not illegal. You can you can send a rocket up whenever you want. It might piss your neighbours off a bit, but it you know it works. Um, but yeah, they they've been getting attacked by hawks. Um, we've had pigeons come back with um, puncture wounds in the the wing shield, breast muscle, um, missing flights, etc. Um, but we can't do anything about it if the hawks attack them when they're not flying around the loft. Say if they go ranging for a little bit. Um, the, the hawks generally um, smash into them then and we obviously we can't see that we, we only know if they've been hit by a hawk when they come in dribs and drabs it has happened before um, quite a few times but it's getting worse every year guys literally like last year was quite bad the first year we you know we got we got attacked a few times but this year has been it's been uh, manic with hawks and I should imagine everybody um, is in the same boat so yeah, the young birds are doing they're doing fine, but um, we'll start training them within the next four or five weeks, I should imagine. In four weeks, and we'll start training them. But um, we're busy racing the cocks. We didn't send to our first race because we thought that the cocks needed a bit more training because the weather let us down. Um, we rely on weather to be good at five o'clock when we come home from work. Me and my dad, father takes some training. And, um, yeah, it's it, sometimes, you know, during the day, it's it's nice weather, and then come at past four or five o'clock, it'll start pissing down. Um, all of the fancies at the club are retired, so if, if they see a break in the weather during the day, they can go training um, during the day, but we can't. We literally have to rely on that weather at five o'clock to be reasonable enough to take the, the pigeons training. But... The week previous to the first race, we got the the good weather in, and we trained the cocks um, all week, and we gave the we gave the the cocks the hens um, on a Wednesday. Um, this was all before training, all before racing, sorry. And the week running up to the first race, we gave them the hens on the Saturday because we basket Saturday Sunday race. Um, so 10 o'clock in the morning, gave them a, um, a full hopper of food and um, around about half past two, we gave the cocks the hens for 15 minutes, no contact, we just literally gave the, the cocks the hens, basketed them up, um, put a dark blanket over the, the baskets to keep the cocks calm, um, took them up to the club and sent them. Um, our first race was Oakhampton and... Um, The liberation was at half past 11, clock out was at 3 o'clock. Um, and uh, we received our first bird at just before quarter past 1. And um, we were two missing by the time we had clocked out. But, but when we sorted the clocks out, got our results, come back to the loft, we noticed that the two cocks were missing were back. So we've got a full team to race for next week, which is um, Exeter. And the main objective was to get the cocks back so we could race. Um, we wasn't too worried about results. Um, it was mainly to get the cocks back and um, safe. 
and that happened. So we got a full team to, to send this week or next week. Um, but I've seen on the weather apps that I use that it's really nice all week. Today was baking hot work, um, really, really hot weather. It's no good for pigeons really baking, baking hot weather because the pigeons will come down early. Um, it's, it's really hot up, hot up there, so you know they don't like it as much. But I've heard the weather is atrocious on the weekend, so we may not even send. Um, I've heard that it's pissing down with rain. I've seen that it's pissing down with rain on the weather app. So um, the the race beforehand, Andrew won the combine. Um, obviously, I've mentioned Andrew before in um, videos. Absolute top fancier and a really nice, genuine guy. Um, it help you out if you if you have any problems with your pigeons. I mean, he has done in the past with us when we had Yomba sickness that time. Um, and he's just a very, very good fancier, uh, RPRA award winner. Um, last year he got it uh, in three separate um, sections, if you'd like. Um, old Bird of the Year, Young Bird of the Year, runner-up, uh, Young Bird of the Year. Um, brilliant fancier, and he's a really nice guy. Um, him and his brother, David, who's got probably some of the best home acoustics in the in the country, um, from Tam Blair, Gary Cox, Premier Stud, etc. Um, he races his brother's pigeons basically and does extremely well with them. So he, he topped the combine um, the week we didn't send. Um, got first and second com first and second combine. So um, we we're, we know we're up against it in that club and our fed as well. We've got the Anguins to contend with. They're probably within the top. I'd say five fancies with the best dirt van and bolts in the country. He's got the Sonic Kittle uh, winner too. I don't really know much about dirt van and bolts. I don't want to know much about dirt van and bolts because they don't interest us at all. Um, what we've got is good enough to compete with anybody's pigeons. Um, but they've they're up there within the top, you know, the best dirt van and bolts in the country. Just Google Anguin family pigeons if you if you're interested or if you don't believe me. But they're in our fed and they're you know hard to beat. Um, they send a lot of pigeons as well. But um, back to the race. And um, these are the results for Oakhampton. So we've got also, just before I go to the results again, um, we've got um, two extra members in the, in the club. One's joined now in Old Birds. The other one will be joining in Young Birds. No stranger to pigeons. Kevin, who's joining in Young Birds. No stranger to pigeons. He's done well with the his birds over the water. Gary's had them for years and years, and um, he's done well with his birds. Um, he knows what he's doing, so we've got some good fancies in our club. Even though we've only got five fly members at the moment, we've got eight or nine members, but some of them don't even bother sending, which is it's ridiculous. You pay a lot of money for club fees these days, and they just don't send the birds. I just don't get it. It's mind-boggling. But anyway, that's our first race. 85 birds, not a massive amount of birds, um, but 85 is it's all right for you know five members. Um, we're small, we're a small club. We're never going to be a big club anymore because obviously, like I've said before in previous videos, um, that pigeon racing is dying. So you know we've got to accept all the members we can. So 85 birds, and we come first club. Um, we knew that was going to be a good bird because when he when he timed in. We was told to look out for the birds around about 20, 20 to half past one. And our first bird was at just before quarter past. And he top, he won the club. Um, that's one of David Sara's. He, well, he's from one of David Sara's stock birds. Um, he's a great grandson of better than Bolt, that pigeon is. And the dam of that pigeon is a lean ball from the Moore style lines. Um, but he, we knew he was going to uh, be a good bird when he timed in. Um, he handled really nice. They all look really nice in the basket. I will say that these birds, all the cocks that we send, we sent, sorry, they were all down on the flights um, because obviously we started so late in the season because of the coronavirus. They were dropping flights, um, so um, it won't be long before the the cocks stop. Well, everybody's old birds start falling to bits through the molt. So we'll see what happens in regards to sending to further races like Woking and etc. But. We've topped the club um, and we've beaten the likes of Andrew, who's a war, an RPRA award winner of the year, um, last year and the year before that as well. Brilliant fancier. 
Mervyn's been in the game 50 years. Um, he's won numerous combines, numerous feds. God knows how many clubs, um, but we've done it uh, again. Um, so we're, we're absolutely chuffed to bits with that. We wasn't expecting to win the club. Um, we were just concentrating on to get the birds home and safe. That was our main objective. So we had a good team to um, send for the next race. That cock has only had two races in his life. Uh, he had one as a young bird. He broke his leg, so we couldn't send him anymore. And now that was his second race, and um, he proved himself in the ba in the basket on the transporter. Really, um, we're just glad that. Well, I'm glad that my father took the decision to save him and put him in the basket for two weeks on his own because if we didn't have, have, have that cock in that race, we'd have been miles beyond. Our next bird was eighth. But um, that cock was um, in front of Mervyn's. Um, so, you know, happy with that. We only sent 17 pigeons as well. Um, but, yeah, good cock. We just hope that he's consistent. I'm, I'm sure, pretty sure he will be. We're pretty sure he will be. Um, he's a lovely pigeon, um, but he's he's done very well considering he broke his leg as a young one. A lot of people say once they've had a you know a serious injury, they don't make much, but he's done it. <clears throat> we also come sixth fed and sixth combine. Now he did waste a few minutes around the loft. Um, he did when he came back. He did two laps and then landed. He did a good trap. He landed on the roof straight into the trap and um, clocked in, but. He did two laps, and that wasted valuable seconds um, because we were 54 seconds away from winning the combine. The Anguins uh, won the combine. They had the first four and five in the combine, so we got the sixth place. But only one fancier was in front of us stopping winning the combine by 54 seconds. So we would have won the combine by fifth um, if that cock um, maybe didn't do them two laps. Who knows? But we're really happy with that, literally. 54 seconds away from winning the Cornish Combine, which is one of our goals, one of our, well, it's basically our top goal is to win the Combine. 54 seconds, and that's all it was. And only one fancier was in front of us, which was the Anguins, and they sent 115 birds. 115 birds against our 17. And uh, we were literally on his ass. So um, we're absolutely chuffed to bits with that result. That's our first... Um, race with the Cox. I'm not saying we're going to be up there all the time, but it's a good start. Um, it's going to be hard to keep going. Um, well, once you're at the top, it's hard to stay there, and especially with people like Andrew Sara and um, the Anguins, Mr. Williams. Um, there's loads of fanciers up there that are up there every week, and it's just nice to be amongst the guys that are up there every week. Um, we have had numerous positions in the Combine, but that's our highest so far, which is sixth and 54 seconds away from winning the, the top prize, which was out of 914 birds, we came sixth. And as I've said numerous times in this video, that it was literally 54 seconds. We would we, we would have won the combine. We will get there. We will win the combine one day. It's only a matter of time. Um, we put a lot into our pigeons. Um, not supplement-wise. We don't use any supplements at all. Um, and we'll, I'll just we'll just add that all our all that our cocks get, all our young birds get, and stock all they get is fresh water and energy plus. No supplements whatsoever. It's a waste of money. There isn't a, anything in a bottle that will make your pigeons champions or winners. It just won't happen. It's what you put into your pigeons, effort wise. I'm up at six o'clock every single morning to get these cocks out, um, and we're on the dot five o'clock. Well, previous before the first race. Um, on the dot, five o'clock every day training, back um, routine. That was all. What it was all about. We kept a good routine, and um, we're on a good system. Um, we're just hoping that we can, you know, um, keep it consistent. Um, but it's going to be hard with fanciers like Andrew and the Anguins, as I've said, especially when they're sending. 115 birds race the, the week before they sent 81 um, but their quality fanciers take nothing away from them um, Andrew um, especially brilliant fancier doesn't send many pigeons at all every week but there we go guys that's the first race over and done with I will do another update when I do when we send to the next race 
Um, I'm not 100% sure if we're going to be sending this week because of the weather forecast is not good at all. So, um, But I will let you know. So I hope everybody is doing well and having a good season with their pigeons. Um, shouts out to everybody on the channel. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Do what you want to do. But um, hope you're taking care of yourselves and taking care of your pigeons, guys. So um, stay tuned. I'll probably do another update soon. Cheers, guys.